Well, I definitely knew that the runner at third was aggressive. She's been aggressive all game. So for me, I think it was just making sure, um, seeing the play unfold and seeing seeing her break. I definitely um, tried to keep calm and uh, just basically see the ball into my glove and make sure I was a wall, make sure she didn't knock me over and knock the ball in my glove. Just knew we needed that out. So. Talk a bit about when you guys tried to make the comeback and you had those back-to-back doubles, including mm-hmm. your ground rule double. What was the feeling in your dugout after those uh, two huge hits? Uh, well, it seemed like our dugout was might have been a little slow coming into the game, but that definitely sparked um, something, and um, I'm just glad that I was able to do so. We we really feed off of each other, and so knowing that I, that I was able to contribute, and knowing that the person behind me, I I knew was gonna pick me up, and I was gonna pick up the runner before or the batter before me. So that's the kind of offense we are. We spark from each other. Coach Bridges, your thoughts on the performance and how they kind of kept it together after a 7 nothing deficit? Yeah, um, I think that uh, I think we did get off to a slow start. I think any time uh, that, you know, we're not used to really getting hit that hard. Um, and in all honesty, I mean, props to Cal Baptist, they, they hit us well. And we're not used to that, I think, as a defense. And, um, you know, to, for, to bounce back from something like that, um, when you're when you're down 7-0, seven, seven it's it's – kind of disheartening um, but you know this team has been showing us especially later on in the year that uh, that we we fight we know the game's not over especially because that happened so early in the game we knew we had a lot of time and and it's just good to see them it's good to see them react that way that knowing that we still have a shot did you have to talk to your outfit at all in the comms about the wind or do it really no I mean the practice yesterday was um, it, it gave us a lot I mean there was way more wind yesterday so we worked a lot through that um, and we kind of just talked him through yesterday about how to play things and who got priority and, and things like that. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we got all the all the experience we needed yesterday. So I think the, our outfield going into today was well prepared. Everyone on your team has been to an NC2A tournament before. Going into tomorrow's uh, elimination bracket, talk about how that would help. Uh, well, I think, you know, it's uh, – honestly, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not scared at all. I mean, I think that we've – We've really been in the elimination bracket in almost every postseason tournament we've been in. Uh, the CCA tournament last last weekend, we we had to play five games to to try to win the whole thing. And um, and I I just have extreme confidence in my team, especially after last weekend. So I think if for nothing else, having last weekend under our belt is just going to spark us, knowing that we're not going to give up after this because we did it we did it last weekend. And I know that we can come back, and I know that we can face these other teams in in uh, the elimination bracket. And I think. Um, I, I just think I think this team is going to bounce back. We're having fun. We're we're happy to be in postseason, and I think that's uh, all that really all that really matters right now.